We all probably used Internet Explorer at least once in our lifetime, and it has been with us since Windows 95 all the way to Windows 10. However, it was discontinued in Windows 11 and probably later versions as well. So how do we get it back just for nostalgic purposes? Let's find out. So first of all, let's just see the problem. If we go to turn Windows features on or off, which is the way that you should turn it on in Windows 10, but by default it was on anyway, you can see that it isn't really here. So there is no way to turn it on from here. Microsoft have completely removed it. So how else can we get it back? Well, we can just go here and then maybe search for Internet Explorer, but it just redirects us to Microsoft Edge. Same as if we type in iExplore.exe, It'll show the Internet Explorer icon, but if you open it, it'll just redirect you to MSN on Microsoft Edge. So how do we bring it back? It's easy peasy. All you have to do is search up for Internet Options, then click on it, go to Privacy, and then click on the Help. The Help only works on the Privacy tab as far as I've tested. So just click on here, and then here you are. You are in Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 11 without using any third-party software, which is kind of incredible, even though Microsoft technically said that Internet Explorer was no longer in Windows 11. Well, we know better. So I would not use this as my main browser as support for Internet Explorer 11 has ended on June 15, 2022. So instead, you can just use the Internet Explorer mode in Microsoft Edge, as it says right over here. And also most modern websites won't work on this, such as YouTube. It'll just say to update your browser because it is no longer supported. So don't really use this. It's just for fun, maybe. And yeah, that's basically it. And did you know that I actually just found this out on accident? Like I was just investigating randomly and I just found this out. So yeah, kind of interesting, don't you think? And one more thing, if you try and pin the icon to the taskbar, close the window, and then reopen it from the taskbar, it'll just open up MSN and Microsoft Edge once again. So yeah, not really that great, but it is just kind of fun. And you can see that it does work perfectly in Windows 11. So that's basically it in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share and subscribe for more like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.